Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I made a big purchase at Maniology this week and I've already received it, or I should say this weekend, I've already received it and I finally got it. Snailed it. Finally got the snail and the plant. It's the one I've been hoping and wishing for. I manifested that shit. I got it. Love it. It's probably one of my favorite ones. So this came in my box. Super happy. Just over a sticker. And I actually have really good printers. I have several of them. I have crafting machines, cutting machines, all these kind of things. And I'm I'm crafty, creative, all that good stuff. And I can make my own stickers. So I could make my own snail and a plant type sticker if I want it, but that's not as fun as receiving it from one of your favorite places. So there we are. It. Snailed it. Love this little thing. So there we go. There's my sticker. So happy about that. And let's see, what did I order? All right, so I ordered a monocle stamper replacement. Should a stamper head to pop into my monocle stamper because I was doing press ons and I split it. Also, I mean a sucker, so that's why I'm talking funny. So, and it's spring. So I ordered the spring ice cube stamper. Actually, it's not called spring. I think it's called, um, I don't know what it's called. I guess it is spring, but I like it. It has a little foliage on it. And it has like heart-shaped ladybugs. I thought it was really cute. So I picked that up. And because one can never have too many scrapers. And I really like the little ones from Maniology. They're flexible. These are the 2024 limited edition scraper set. Mini scraper set. This is the half size. These are the ones I prefer. They're all really cute. I like those, which is why I bought them. Also, I've always thought, oh, who needs that? Because, well, you can just use tape. But I gave in and bought myself a sticky stamping station. So the top is paper and you can pick up your image and put it down to like practice. And then to clean your stamper, you just lift it off and you can stamp it on the, the sticky sheet. So I thought it was convenient. So I bought the regular size one, but I also got a free one because I spent over a certain dollar amount. <laughs> um, this is the mini Let's Go Camping. And I really like outdoors and camping and nature and stuff. So same concept. You have your little paper to stamp on and then you can clean your stamper off on that. This one is not replaceable, so once you finish with it, it's done. This one, however, the pad, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but this is a box and the pad just fits in it, so you can just buy replacement sheets that fit in the box. So handy dandy little tools. And then the polishes I got are the seven in one potion base coat B457. And I got this one because they've been doing a lot of videos about this lately and showing all these kind of, I would say unconventional ways to use base coats that you don't usually think of. And this one they use a lot, so I really wanted that. And since I bought my new little set, let's go ahead and use it. And I'm just gonna stamp on top of the thing. So this first one is Honeydew B471. And 
I don't have a lot of yellows from Maniology. If any, really. I don't know why. I haven't got a Manny by Me subscription box that includes the yellow, so. Oh, having a plate to to swatch would be great. I'm just gonna use Beetlemania to swatch. This is not a new plate. I did not just purchase this. I mean, I'm not wasting sticky stamp and polish on top of my labels, but you can see. Maybe. Again, Honeydew B471. I really like that one. That's a good one. So not prepared. find any of my cotton pickers picker upper thingy so I'm gonna put on a glove so I don't get acetone on my nails quickly clean the plate all right so that's that one all right the next one is Zinnia B422 it's another different shade of yellow Should have done it that way the first time. So there's the difference. This is, they're both a pale yellow, but Honeydew B471 is, it's, it's a brighter shade of yellow. Oh, am I in focus? I can't see my camera, so I'm not real sure today when I'm going to focus on it. So I'm really happy with those two yellows. Like I said, I I have a couple of yellows from other brands, but none of them are exactly what I've wanted. So Cherry Bomb B326. I do have some reds, but I wanted a good, you know, cherry red, good red. Um, and I also have a plan for this as well, this polish. It's a really nice red. It doesn't show up on the black as much as it does on the red, but that's okay because I won't be using it over black anyway. So there's that one. And then, I'm sorry, I've also have not been doing well, so you'll hear me sniffling and hopefully I don't start having a sneeze fest. All right. This is Royal Blue B375. Oh, yeah, that was a glare there. Um, and I got this to go with the porcelain plate that you'll see here in a minute. That's actually why I got the red and the blue. Um, and I also wanted this for the some of the other Japanese plates. 
Japanese theme, I should say. So pretty. It's just such a good, perfect blue. collections are everything so I got the mm, sun ray collection is that what it's called sun rays the um, three-piece Aurora duochrome stamping polish set so we'll start with the first one it's called sandbar B475 and I don't think this one is gonna I don't think these will swatch as well, but we'll still we'll still give it a go. Cause they're so oh they're so pretty. Wow, really got the sniffle sniffles. like the iridescent look. And fish scale B476. Ooh. It's green but has pink iridescence. I don't know if you can see that through the stamper when I do it, but wow, that's gorgeous. I know these are subtle, oops, I know they're subtle and they're supposed to be. Um, and there are ways to use those to your advantage. This one is Seaweed B477. And this one is the opposite. It looks pink in the bottle, but when you paint it on, it has a green shimmer. I love that. And so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. And that's it for the polishes. I cap my stamper before I ruin it, and I'm just gonna move this over just a tad. I ruined my sticker. Put that up there. And then let's go ahead and move on to the plates. Uh, wow, my um, I'm taking a turn for the worst. This I so I ordered some regular collection plates, but I'm also a Manny by Me subscriber, so I ordered some previous plates as well. Um and. I'm sorry, this one doesn't say when it's from, but it's MXM054. Uh, I believe this is, let me see if I have my paper handy, and I'll tell you what it is. This one was the um, Fairy Kingdom plate from April of 2021. I have the, the one that goes with it. Usually when I order old Manny by Me collections. I'll order them together, so I don't know why I didn't order this one together. So you can see it's like the little fairy gardens. Also, um, 
I really like fair fairies and the whole cottage core thing going now. I mean, I've always liked fairies, but it has, you know, the butterflies and the moths and mushrooms and some bees and the lotus flower. Um, and then some just other little flowers and then this little scene. And yes, you can make these fairies, but I was looking for a paper doll style plate and I couldn't find one. So I was like, I had already had this in my cart and I was like, perfect. I could use this with other plates and use like a couple of images and that don't have wings and just do them myself, you know, just kind of remove some of the details. So that was one of the reasons why I got this one. It's just, well, it's just an idea I had for it. And then the next two are from the Manny by Me December 2021 Mythical Creatures. So this one is MXM069. And I apologize, I can't, I'm sniffling, but at the same time I'm congested. And these things are so hard to get off. But so satisfying hearing the rip. And it's what you would think, kind of like sea-based mythical creatures, you know, Kraken, the sea monster, all those cool little mythical things. And then the other one is MXM 070. Again, this is the December 2021 Mythical Creatures Manny by Me collection. And this one has more of the full coverage style images or frames. And then they have these little individual ones in there. And I really like those. That almost looks like a Krampus. Really nice ones. <clears throat> the next plate is, let's see, M460. And this is the uh, Japanese porcelain. And this is, this is... As soon as I, it came out, I knew I was going to be getting it. I just didn't order it right away. So it's your traditional kind of Japanese porcelain style look. And usually it's the, you know, blue on white, white on blue. However, it doesn't really matter, which is great. But I like to... I really like the porcelain when it has the red. So uh, I want to do a Manny, like one in all blue and then one in all red. And really you can do any color you want. Those are just the more traditional colors that you see. And the last plate I got is Shape Nouveau Seeing Spots. M475. Sorry, I'm trying to get a curve on this to get the sticky off. M475. And you're seeing spots. That's what it is. It's all dots and circles. And I mean, why sit there with a dotting tool trying to paint perfect circles when you can just stamp them? Plus, I have some ideas to kind of use this. I always have a lot of ideas, whether I bring them to life or not is another thing. Um, I tend to like to collect the ideas and then do nothing with them. So that is all I have for my most recent Maniology haul. And as always, it is great. I love it. I love Maniology. They have great products. I haven't really ventured too far out into a lot of other brands for stamping. Thank you for letting me share. 
thumbs up, like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment below, tell me if you want to see something. I would welcome any and all comments. So, thank you. See you or talk to you next time. Bye.